Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Red Stealth here, and in today's video, we're gonna be testing the three different Yasuo and Yone builds for season 11 being Gale Force, Shield Bow, and Kraken Slayer, and just come up with a conclusion as to which is best or if all of them are strong in different situations. So let's just jump right into it. So we'll start off by testing the damage of the different builds at certain spikes. So we'll start off with the one item spike here and we'll be testing the damage against the squishy target. So we're going to assume when you hit your one item spike, you'll be around level eight. So an enemy level eight, an enemy like a Nivea, for example, would have 1k HP, 50 armor. If you're going up against like a tank or something, or if there's a couple of tanks on the enemy team, level eight tank like a Malphite would have 1.4k HP and 90 armor. And the combo we'll be using is just an auto attack followed by a Q, three more auto attacks, and then another Q to compare the damage. And just so you guys aren't confused, when doing the test, I only used Yasuo. I didn't use Yone at all because if I were to swap in between, you know, the different champions, it would just take longer to record the gameplay. And the findings are going to be the exact same no matter if I'm using Yone or Yasuo to do the tests. So looking at Gale Force against a squishy target, 823 damage without the active, and then 1086 with the active there. Against a tank, 608 damage without the active, 786 with it. Kraken Slayer comes in at 976 damage against squishies, 822 against a tank, and then for Immortal Shield Bow, 738 damage against squishies, 544 against a tank. So what we can take away from this one item spike is that Gale Force is the highest burst option against squishies, 1086 there compared to the 976 from Kraken Slayer. Now Kraken is going to deal more just consistent damage though. If you don't have your Gale Force active available, Kraken Slayer will be dealing more damage and against tanks, it does uh, outclass the Gale Force there and the Shield Bow by quite a bit. And then Shield Bow does deal a considerable less amount of damage uh, compared to Kraken Slayer and Gale Force, but damage isn't the only thing that matters. You've got the passive on Shield Bow, you also do have the lifesteal that you do have to factor in. So now if we move on to taking a look at the two item spikes, we'll be testing these on a squishy target that is level 12, 1.3k HP, 60 armor, so for example an enemy Anivia, and then a tank level 12 that would be like a Malphite there, 2.2k HP and 160 armor. All right, and then what we're able to find for the two item spike for Gale Force against a squishy 1,630 damage without the active, 1,898 with it, against a tank 1,003 without the active, and then 1,151 with it. For Kraken Slayer, 1,911 against a squishy, and then 1,271 against a tank, and then for Immortal Shield Bow, 1,596 against a squishy, and then against a tank 982. I should point out as well that these tests here at the two item spike are a lot more reliable because you now have a hundred percent crit. So in, in some of the other tests, maybe there was one extra crit thrown in there that would have skewed the damage a little bit. But at this two item spike here, because you now have a hundred percent crit, the damage is going to be the exact same, uh, no matter, you know, how many different times you try using the combo. What we're able to find damage wise here though is that Kraken Slayer does outperform both Gale Force and Shield Bow on the two item spike against a squishy or against a tank. And then for the final test here, we're going to be taking a look at the massive three item spike against a squishy who's level 15, 1.5k HP, 70 armor, and then also against a tank, level 15, 2.7k HP, and 250 armor. So running down the test now for the Gale Force build against a squishy 2064 without the active, 2386 with it, against a tank 1003 damage without the active, 1136 with the active. For Kraken Slayer, 2410 damage against a squishy target and 1332 against a tank, and then for Immortal Shield Bow, against a squishy 2064 damage and against a tank 1003. So there's a couple interesting findings here from this three item spike. The damage from Gale Force and Immortal Shield Bow are actually identical now if you don't factor in the Gale Force active. And the reason for this is because the mythic passive on Immortal Shield Bow grants you five extra AD for every legendary item you have. So the AD is going to be the exact same there. It's going to be 60 on Shield Bow and 60 on Gale Force uh, once you do hit your three item spike with Immortal Shield Bow. Kraken Slayer, once again, here is the best damage wise, no matter the target. Squishy tank, it is going to outclass both Shield Bow and Gale Force. 
So now that we've done all the tests, which build is the best? And the answer to that is none of them, which is actually a really good thing. You have so much diversity with the different build paths for Yasuo and Yone. Gale Force, Kraken Slayer, and Immortal Shield Bow can all be viable on the picks right now. And it really just does come down to the situation as to when you're going to want to purchase them. So let's talk about those situations. So for Gale Force, this can be best in game as to where the enemy team has a lot of dodgeable abilities, or if you're snowballing early on, it is going to provide you with the most burst at the one item there. The Gale Force active, if you have that available, it is going to allow you to just assassinate your target a lot faster than any of the other two items. Kraken Slayer is going to be the best if you just want to deal the most amount of damage, but that's just not going to be practical in a lot of scenarios because if you're dead before you can even get that damage off, then having the higher damage option doesn't really even matter. So it is going to be best though when you are up against a very tanky enemy composition. Uh, that's to where you can look to prioritize Kraken Slayer. And then for Immortal Shield Bow, if the only thing you did was take a look at its damage output, you just come to the conclusion that this item is garbage and you shouldn't build it any game. You should just always go for Gale Force or Kraken Slayer, but that's just not the case. The value you get out of the shield from the Immortal Shield Bow passive, along with the lifesteal, allows you to stay alive so much longer. It gives you way more survivability. And when you're playing a champion like Yasuo and Yone, who are gonna be diving the back line, who are gonna be playing, you know, up in your face, super aggro, having those defensive stats are very very important. So in situations to where you're up against an enemy comp who's very burst heavy and that burst damage is point and click and it's not easily dodgeable by mobility spells like you know the gale force active that's to where going for shield bow is going to be the most valuable for you. All right, so that is going to be all for the video, guys. You should definitely be looking to swap around whether you go Gale Force, Kraken Slayer, or Shield Bow on your Yasuo and Yone here for Season 11. You shouldn't just be going one build every single game because all of them can be optimal depending on the situation. So that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you have yet to already. So thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you in my next video.